Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of On the Couch. I'm Eric Conklin. And I'm Brittani. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. We hope that you are having a great week here at Rowan University preparing for your Thanksgiving break. Today's a big day for us. We have our first musical guest also on the way. Right now we have Derek Fogland and he is from the Prophecy Acapella Group from Rowan University. So hey, hi. Hey, what's going on? How are, How are you? you? Good, good, good. Thanks for having me. <laughs> no problem. Okay, so what made you want to sing in this a cappella group? So in high school, I've always really, really enjoyed music, um, and so that was something I wanted to continue. Mm -hmm. um, so prophecy gives me that way to in continue to enjoy music even while I'm majoring in something other than music. Okay. All right, so how often do you guys practice or get together? So, so we practice about three times a week for about four and a half hours a week. So it is a pretty big time commitment. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Usually any performance. I mean, I did choir and stuff for a while when I did theater and usually I know how kind of like a big, because you always have to make sure everybody knows the music, everybody knows, everybody knows the harmonies and right, right, all right. kinds of stuff like for that. Sure. So. Absolutely. Um, so what kind of music do you guys tend to sing? So we sing mostly, we sing all covers um, mm -hmm. and mostly it's pop music. Uh, in our recent show, we did songs uh, like Closer by Chainsmokers. Ooh. We also did Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus nice. and Fine By Me by Andy Grammer. So those are just a few of the, the, the artists that we cover and we cover a lot of different genres and artists and styles of music. Okay, so how many members are in your group? Like. There are currently 14 members in our group. 14. That's yeah. actually pretty good for an acapella group. That's a good group. size group. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely a really good acapella group. I gotta ask, is it is it co-ed or is it like is so, it just an all So Prophecy is an all male group. Um, okay. and that's what cool. we decided when we formed the group that the, the performing members of the group were going to be all male. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Do you guys ever do like collabs with like any other like department like do you guys do anything else within the the music department or with any other performance group so, at all on campus. So, so yeah, so one of the really interesting things about our show, Rockapella, which actually just happened last Friday, mm -hmm. one of the main collaborations that we did there was we sang a song while the Rowan dance team danced to it, which was a really, really cool, really, yeah. really cool, interesting way to kind of spice up the show and showcase their talent because the dance team is absolutely a talented group and it, it was a really, really cool uh, way to collaborate with them. Wow. That sounds really cool, actually. It sounds it like a lot, lot of fun. fun. Yeah, definitely For sure. a lot of fun. Yeah, so, you do a collab um, like that. Yeah. <laughs> so what, <laughs> um, what key do you see, like sing in? Do you have a specific tone? Or? So, so I'm a baritone. Usually mm -hmm. baritones are about the middle, the middle range. Mm -hmm. um, then you also have your tenors who sing your higher notes and the basses who sing the lower notes. Yep. So yeah, kind of like baritones. Like sometimes I, like when I was in choir, I was either, I'd have to flip-flop between tenor and bass. So I know it's like right in the middle yep. there. That's pretty cool, though. Yep. For sure. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good job. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned you have uh, you major in something different than music. What's your major? Uh, so I am currently a mathematics and secondary education major. So uh, hopefully one day I'll be a high school math teacher. Oh, oh, <laughs> I don't like math. I mean, he's uh, <laughs> he's got guts for it. I mean, yeah, I gotta admit, yeah. cause like, to, like, yeah, me and math just don't go. <laughs> that's why I. That's why I'm a radio, television, film major. Cause just like me and math just don't like. Yeah, I turn the other way. <laughs> I get that. A so lot. wait, if you're if you're not um, so so that's pretty cool though, because like you're not a you're not a performing arts major, you're not a music major, and then you you're you still want to get involved yeah. with mm. singing and stuff like that, which yeah. is pretty. I think yeah. that's pretty cool. So, yeah. do, you, um, do you plan on using that creative side into when you become a math teacher? Like so the music? you know, I I've always enjoyed you know whether it was being a part of a choir or mm. a band. I was also in musicals when I was in high school, mm. and so maybe coming along as an assistant director for musical at a high school one day would be something that I would be interested in for sure that sounds so that's cool. actually pretty cool yeah. yeah yeah they have a lot of creative um, arts in in you in um, education now yeah, for and sure. it's been very beneficial for students mm -hmm. especially in learning so it's been really interesting yeah definitely so what kind of advice would you offer like somebody that wants to get into an acapella group or start an acapella group uh, so the main advice that I would give someone who wants to be a part of an a cappella group is, first and foremost, you have to love with you, what you do. Mm -hmm. um, we're, a group, we're a group of guys who love music and we love performing, even though most of us aren't music majors. There are very few in the group who oh, are. Oh, really? Yeah, there's only about three music majors in the wow. entire group. Wow, that's actually we've, really cool. We've got accounting majors. We've got mechanical engineers. We've got biomedical engineers. We've got biology majors. Mm -hmm. We've got basically just about the whole spectrum of majors mm -hmm. you can think of. And so the one thing that we we definitely have in common is that we all love music and we're willing to work hard to put out a good quality sound. 
That's actually really cool. And I like how I like how like your whole club is not like it's not just like music majors. I feel like you'd automatically think that somewhat like a club that's devoted to like the performing arts would be in that department, For but sure. it's really not. Mm -hmm. But that's actually really cool though. Yeah. I think it's a good way to get people involved. And it's so. definitely something really unique about our a cappella group. You know, we've we've toured around at some other colleges and met some other groups mm -hmm. and even performed with some of them. And most of them are music majors or performing arts majors of some sort. And so that's really something that's unique about our group and we pride ourselves in is that we just do it for the love of music. Um, and so that's really, really great. So what other colleges have you, like you said, so you're saying you've gotten together and like collab with other like acapella groups, like can you give us some? Yeah, like, so where uh, last year we performed uh, with Temple University's Low Key. They're a co-ed acapella group that we sang with at their show. We kind of opened for them. They kind of cool. opened That's for us. Cool. I think yeah, really, it's a really, I think I've heard of them too. Yeah, yeah, they're a really, really group out of mm -hmm. good group out of Temple. On Friday night at our show, Rockapella, we just had Staccata from Stockton University. Mm -hmm. They're an all-female group that actually came and performed with us that night. Okay. And so that was a really interesting way to kind of show the different sides of a cappella mm -hmm. music, how you can have an all-male group and an all-female group and how their sounds differ. Um, and so that was a really, really cool, so unique I, experience for sure. I, I have to ask, so do you like Pitch Perfect? You know, I know you get this <laughs> yeah, question, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, seen, I've seen the movies a couple of times. There was actually one rehearsal last year where we just kind of had a laid back rehearsal. So we actually got together and watched, watched Pitch it. Perfect <laughs> so for cool. sure. Um, you know, just kind of hang out, eat food, watch Pitch Perfect. But yeah, yeah, if you're that modern acapella style is mm. kind of what we're striving for as a group. So that's actually so that's one of the one of the things that we kind of look at when we're looking to try new things in terms of arranging or cho choreography or anything mm -hmm. like that for sure. Well, All right. well, thank you for coming and um, sharing your story with us. How can we get in touch? Uh, so yeah, you can always uh, get in touch with Prophecy all over social media. We have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, a YouTube channel. It's all with the tag at Rowan Prophecy. So that's the best way you can get in touch with us. You can also email us. Our email is on our Facebook page. Um, and so we will be more than happy to perform at events around campus. We're always looking for performance opportunities. So we, we uh, ask that if anyone wants to contact us for a performance, we'd love to hear it. All right. That Thank sounds good. You. All right. Thanks for having us on. Uh, thanks for being here, Derek. We yeah, appreciate thanks. it. Thanks. All thanks. All right. Appreciate it. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more of On the Couch. Hey, did you know 2.4 million loving cats and dogs in shelters and rescues need our help to find a home? Let's go to the shelterpetproject.org and meet a few who are in a shelter near you. Harlow. Oh, she's one great listener who loves to hear all your stories. My kind of cat. Shrulo is a sweet, goofy boy who's eager to please. Sounds just like another dog I know. So go to the shelterpetproject.org, search your local shelters and rescues, and go for a cuddle with your next best friend. Adopt. Yep. Oh. All right, welcome back to On the Couch. Now we're joined by Student Government Association's Kevin Doss. Kevin, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Um, I'm just getting back or getting things cleared up before uh, Thanksgiving break. And then when we get back, it's going to be full speed ahead. Yes, that's great. So um, SGA, right? Mm -hmm. What is SGA? Uh, SGA stands for uh, Student Government Association. And it's really just uh, advocating for the kids on campus who feel like they don't have a opinion on campus. Um, it's the it's the people who don't think they have a say. They can come to us, and we will definitely get out anything we need to uh, go to. We each are appointed officials uh, to go to. So mm -hmm. as far as me, I'm uh, SGA University Advancement, which is um, basically I handle uh, like the in the field of scholarships and. Uh, better in betterment for the future of Rowan University. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a few programs that I do, uh, which would be like senior celebration and then senior give back, along with um, a uh, scholarships, a, a couple scholarships that we've been doing in the past couple of years. Okay. That sounds pretty cool. I mean, it's a different because like, I know like there's a lot of different um, like positions on the board and stuff, and then everybody just thinks that like yeah. the president really does is like everything, <laughs> but it's really not. There's like I've been to like one of the meetings. There's like tons of you guys, and you're just like doing your thing, and yeah. you know you always like have each individual role and stuff. So, uh, what made you want to get involved with student government? Um, I just wanted to be involved. I, you know, I thought um, I'm going to a new place. College is a fresh start. Mm -hmm. uh, high school is 
is what it is. It, you were either where you're a popular kid and you stood out, or you were in the middle of the pack and you didn't really speak to anybody, or you're just, you're in between and you were friends with everybody or you're friends with nobody. Mm. And I, <laughs> I mean, college is like I said, college is a fresh start. And I felt like, well, I want to get off on the right foot. I want to start. Um, somewhere good. I want to start where I can meet people, mm -hmm. where I can get involved in my community. And that was really the main things I, I was like looking for in student government. And that's definitely where I found I found people that I can talk to and that people that people are like there for you. And then it's also uh, getting other people's ideas out. That's something that I've always been behind. So, mm -hmm. so earlier you talked about um, uh, Holiday is it holiday week? Yeah. Can you explain that as so one of your activities or one of your programs? Yeah. So holiday week is a um, now it's become an annual program mm -hmm. that uh, uh, SG has done. It's uh, just in its third year, but it, it it looks like it can definitely achieve a lot of growth as long as it's maintained. And uh, this year, I definitely looked at ramp up the atten uh, attendance, mm -hmm. and um, and I really wanted to focus on the part of giving back to the community because it yes it's great to receive during christmas and everyone loves christmas because hey i got the gift i wanted all year long but i i really wanted to give like i really wanted to rehash the idea of it's the giving season mm. so i'm doing a couple events like a uh, food drive a toy drive um a clothing drive and then i'm doing letters to soldiers and oh, that, really? yeah, now, you in, that touches me. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Now, are you are you in charge of like are you like running all those events or yes. like you personally like were the one that like went yeah. out and Yeah. So actually I am given a committee, well, not given, but elected a committee of 20 people. Mm -hmm. And they um they they really helped me a lot. Um mm -hmm. what I can give them jobs uh to uh do on uh do to help me out because it's a lot of work. I mean, it's a whole week packed in with it, we have to plan right from the beginning of October. So um, it's just, I have events focused towards those things. And then I also have events focused towards the students. Mm -hmm. So it's like mm -hmm. the students get the uh, community receives. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that sounds pretty cool. I mean, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely a really important role and stuff. So yeah. um, what was like being involved in SGA, that, like the way that you are, and being on the board, I guess. What was like? Do you have any other like really funny memories or any other? Do you have any like? Do you have any like good memories with your? Because I know like they're that's like your club in a way. That's like your friends and stuff. Yeah. Anything um, good? <laughs> I made them <oof>. think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm sure, I'm guessing it's a lot. Yeah. By the way that you're. Yeah. 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 Okay. There's a lot of there's a lot of laughs shared. Okay. <laughs> so maybe about your most memorable. Um, I guess moment. Um, I like picking on the other e-board members, <laughs> like like in a play kind of way. But like, it's fun to like pick on them, see what the reaction is. Just kidding. <laughs> but uh, they're gonna get you for that. <laughs> <laughs> they won't watch. I'm just kidding. We'll make sure they don't get a copy of the episode or something. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll protect you. Don't worry. <laughs> Slide it into their email. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. Um, do you plan on doing anything in the government? What's your major, actually? Uh, my major is Translational Biomedical Sciences. Okay. So you don't plan on doing anything with the government um, or anything? No. No, all. this is a little, this is more of um, kind of just stay involved. So I was a, in Eagle Scout, mm -hmm. and right, cool. I put over 350 hours of leadership in, in and over 400 hours of community service. So really, I thought SGA is an extension of this. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it, you get the leadership aspect of being advocating for the students. You get the giving back of uh, back to the borough and mm -hmm. then holiday week. And I felt like university advancement was a place where I thought, or I mean, my position, it was a place I thought I could um, better the um, experience of uh, kids on the students on campus, but at the same time, um, I thought there was some things from last year that I could build on. So that's why I like this job. You're doing an awesome job. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it sounds like you're having a lot of fun. You make a lot of memories and stuff. So, I mean, yeah. it's keeping you happy. That's, what's, you know, that's what they always say is most important. So. Well, thank you for coming and chatting with us on On the Couch. Yeah, thanks <laughs> for coming out. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Stay with us. We'll be back with 
some more. Uh, we actually have our very first musical performance of the semester coming up. Mm -hmm. But before that, we also have our man on the street. So don't go anywhere. You're watching On the Couch. So uh, this mannequin challenge is this new trend where you, uh, you know, you just pose in this, this still position, and everyone goes around with this camera, and, and you just see everyone in a still photo. Someone came up to you and said, "We're doing it. It's happening right now." Would you get into that? I mean, I kind of got to go to class right now, but I, I, I guess just in certain, certain quick, situations. Would you hit me with your pose? If you had to do a pose, what would be your pose? <laughs> That, like that. Ooh, yeah. So, uh, if you had to do one of these mannequin challenges and you had to pick a celebrity to do it with, who would that celebrity be? Uh, Tom Hanks. Give me your craziest pose, craziest mannequin challenge pose right now. Let's go. Let's go. We're doing it. Um, We're doing it. Like. The, uh, we're walking along townhomes. We got nice reeds down there. The rocks, so homey. You know, they're standing up, just being reeds. That's how reeds do it. So if you had to pick a pose where you just stand still, you know, like this, what would you do? I would just sit on the floor. Just sit on the floor, like, sit on the floor. Sit on the floor. I think you would just kind of just, just to the sky and beyond. Yeah. Wow. Fresh ground. Welcome back to On the Couch, Sean. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mannequin yeah. challenge? Yeah. Um, hmm. It's really crazy how it's like kind of really getting to be, it's like sweeping the nation. Um, it's actually really fun. Um, I don't know if anybody's seen it, but uh, uh, we here at On the Couch did a mannequin challenge for like, like two shoots or a shoot ago. So if you always want to check it out, make sure you go on to the on the couch Facebook page it is up there I'm Last pretty sure it's like the yeah I'm pretty sure it's like the freshest post or whatever it's like, it was actually a lot of fun and I'm kind of glad we did it it looks really cool and stuff so um, uh, yeah I mean it's kind of funny I really don't know who really thought of it but it's it's pretty creative I, I think, think it's very creative yeah, definitely <laughs> um, very easy to do so great yeah definitely. <laughs> well right now we are going to have our first musical performance ever but first, we want to introduce Connor Buckmaster. So on, buddy. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? What's going on? So you were uh, you performed in Rowan's Got Talent, which was I think about two weeks ago. Like, like yeah, two weeks, two weeks something ago. like that. I know mm -hmm. it was like two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. How was it? Like, how did you enjoy oh, it? It was awesome. I was just I, I just had so much fun. The the practice. We only had one practice, mm. which was amazing because like. The way that they just were able to pull everything together within just a short time was awesome. And all of the acts were fantastic. Mm -hmm. It was really tough competition after I got to know them all. I wasn't sure that I was going to win. I didn't win, um, but I was. It, it was just so much fun overall. And a lot of people came out, and mm -hmm. I was surprised by that. I thought, you know, just like there would be like one or two rows full, but mm -hmm. everyone came out. A lot of people came out, and that was awesome. So what is your talent? So I sing mm -hmm. and I play the ukulele, mm -hmm. um, and I, I I played my own song called Spaceship, which I'm gonna play later. Um, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited <Yeah>. too. <laughs> um, and yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. That was the first time that I performed um, my own song. Mm -hmm. I've sung in the past, but right. 
it was the first time I've done my own stuff, which so was, was cool. Special, yeah. special moment. Yes, it was. It was very cool. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. So how was like? I think we were talking before we came on. You were talking about like the first time you performed. Because I got confused. I thought it was actually the first time you ever performed live. No, that's that's the second time I performed. Right, and you live. wanted to say something about the first time. I think. Right. Yeah. So the first time that I performed was also this year. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, this is the first time that I've really been performing live. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I've never done anything like this before. Just performing. Um, but I performed for my a talent show at mm -hmm. my high school, and I got second place in that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't play ukulele. I didn't know how to play it at the time, mm -hmm. so I sung uh, Valerie by Amy Winehouse, mm -hmm. and uh, I got second place in that, and that was that was really fun. That that like kind of built me up to be like, oh, okay, I can I can you perform, can and yeah. like people like it. Yeah. So that was that was a cool moment. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. So what made you want to actually go out to be a part of uh, Rowan's, Got Cal uh, Rowan's Got Talent? Well, I had just, I, I heard about it um, from like some friends of mine. Mm -hmm. And I had just finished writing the song, like mm -hmm. maybe like a week ago. Mm -hmm. And the talent and like the audition portion of the show was that weekend. Mm -hmm. And... I figured, you know what? I have this song that I wrote, and I'm kind of proud of it. Mm -hmm. So why not? Why not just try it and try to perform it? And if I do get in, then that's awesome. That's that's the biggest. That's the biggest goal that I wanted to accomplish was just going in and and just having fun with it. And mm -hmm. you know, they seemed to really like it. So I, I was pretty confident, and then I got accepted into the show, that's which awesome. was awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It's definitely a lot of fun, I'm sure. <laughs> So we're going to hear and see you perform mm -hmm. later, right? Yep. I'm very excited about that. Yeah. Um, is there anything you want to say, uh, like, t for people to get in touch with you? Oh, yeah. Um, so I have two Instagrams you can follow me on. You can follow me on at Connor Buckmaster mm -hmm. um, on Instagram. And then you can all fo also follow, um, I'm starting a clothing brand nice. called uh, Sad Boy Designs. Okay, uh, cool. That's the Instagram Ha uh, handle so you can follow me on there as well okay. so yeah all right that sounds really cool mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm actually excited i don't i've never we this is like the first time we've ever had a music performance mm -hmm. too so i know it's been done like on the show in the past but anytime you have like the first semester like the first of the semester is right. really cool yeah so. yeah i'm ex i'm excited i'm excited <laughs> oh, all right sounds man. cool all right so um the name of the song right okay do? yeah so i'm going to be performing two songs mm -hmm. the first one i'm going to perform is the one i performed at uh the talent show here mm -hmm. uh, called spaceship mm -hmm. and then the second one i'm going to perform is also another one of my songs um it's called better days and i just finished writing that this morning actually. oh really <laughs> this okay yeah. this is actually going to be like a debut yeah this <laughs> is the first i feel like it's like this is like We're this is like yeah, definitely. And I feel like it's this is gonna mm -hmm. be like it's like for the fir for the first like song that I wrote, I performed it a couple times for, first um, time. for my for my family before mm -hmm. right. I like was able to like kind of get on stage. Yeah. And this one I haven't I haven't shown anyone yet. So well, we can't wait to yeah. hear it. Me too. I'm excited. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be back after this on on the couch. What do you think it would be like to teach? Chances are, you have no idea. Teachers today are breaking down obstacles, finding innovative ways to instill old lessons, proving that greatness can be found in everyday places, and that you don't need to be famous to be unforgettable. That's what it's like to teach. So this first song is called Spaceship. Um, I wrote it myself, and I hope you enjoy. The sun was too bright, but the winters were so cold. The weight of her moon was more than she could hold. She would look up at the stars and see the possibility that maybe out there was some type of vigilante lay on night with a star so bright she found 
Flies with him in your eyes. Why can't she read between the lines? The tears you cry rain down from the sky. Loving between two worlds, I'd rather die. Comets and fireflies and him in your eyes. Why can't she read between the lines? The tears you cry. So that's called Spaceship. Uh, my next song is called Better Days. What's the secret to living a life where there's no regrets? No. Cause lately I seem to be stuck in a loop of stress. Oh. But you don't need cash or cars that go fast to live or to love. So here's my philosophy to fight that monstrosity and keep my mind in a positive light. is 
far away We pick up stones and broken bones Our beating hearts will light the way To better days To better days To better days To better days So that is going to be it for our show today. Uh, I personally hope that everybody has a great Thanksgiving break. And as remember, remember that whenever we're off camera, you can always get in contact uh, contact through us, uh, contact with us. Excuse me, with uh, through Twitter and also through Facebook. So remember to get involved. We'd love to hear some messages. We'd love to hear some tweets and all that kind of stuff. It's great. Also, get involved. Uh, check this guy out on social media. Try to book him. He's great, right? <laughs> awesome. All right. So <laughs> happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Thank you, and. Don't forget to catch us on the next episode of On the Couch. All right. Thanks, Connor. Thank you. Thank you so <laughs> much. Thanks for having me on. All right.